Hey church, welcome back to our devotions this week. As you know, we're looking at fiercely determined looking at Jesus' life and how he lived the most audacious life. And that of course isn't, you know, it's not a, it's not a mindset, it's not a mantra, it's not a, you know, a lifestyle, but really it's about aligning ourselves with the kingdom of God and these couple of culture, culture points. So yesterday we looked at Jesus and how he was fiercely determined and that being fiercely determined means not getting distracted like his disciples did. And today we're looking at to be fiercely determined means you can't look back. You ready for it? Let's get into today's scripture. Luke 9, 61, 62 says, Still another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me go back and say goodbye to my family. Jesus replied to this man, No one who puts their hands on the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom. Oof. This may seem like a bit of a harsh scripture that this man says, you know what, Jesus, I'll give you everything, but let me just go finish a few things before I go. Let me just sort out my family before I go with you. Before I fully commit to you, let me go back and do whatever it is I was doing over here. But in this passage, Jesus is trying to, to teach the man and us, I guess, that you know you can't go back to follow Jesus is to commit to that, is to be determined that, and you can't go back. See, on the surface, what seems like, oh, the man just wants to go to his family, really is a warning to not be lukewarm, to not be half-hearted, to not be circumstantial in your following of Jesus. Oh, I'll follow Jesus when it's convenient for me. When I've got all my ducks in a row, when everything lines up, then and only then I will be, I'll follow Jesus. But actually, Jesus is, is challenging us here to say that actually, to be fiercely determined is to not turn back. And you might find yourself right now on the brink of turning back. I don't know, maybe the job that you prayed for is harder than you expected and so you're not enjoying it. Maybe your marriage isn't going the way that you thought it is. Maybe the cost of living crisis is making it tough to you know, follow on your convictions, to follow through in your tithing and all these things. I don't know what it is. Maybe you find yourself today on the brink of turning back. I wanna challenge you, don't turn back. Don't turn back. Those who are fiercely determined are the ones who keep moving forward as we learned in the, earlier in the week. So if you're thinking about turning back, um, I want you to encourage you that on the other side of pushing forward is the miracle. On the other side of not turning back is the opportunity that God has set before you. Could it be that the audacious life that we're all saying that we want is on the other side of being fiercely determined, of not looking back, but actually stepping forward? See, if you're going to decide to live fiercely determined, you can't turn back. Don't turn back on it being easy. Stay focused on the why. Don't turn back on the old ways of doing life. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Don't turn back because when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Church, I want to encourage you right now um, that, you know, you may be on the brink of turning back, but I want you to know that God is with you. That whatever in front, is in front of you may seem daunting, but the Bible encourages that nothing that is before you, has, God has, not, has seen everything that is before you and no temptation has overtaken you. So no matter what the challenge is, no matter what the cost is, no matter what's required, don't get distracted and don't turn back. Keep moving forward. Be fiercely determined. God bless you, church. Have a great day.